high occupancy mean for your agents? Now, when I use the word high occupancy, I'll define this in a moment. I don't want to say that being busy is bad. Let's all be honest. There's a pace of work which is nice. If the pace of work is too slow, it can be a bit boring, right? But there's a level beyond which it goes too high. Now, the level that's quoted in your book, I'll give you the level that's quoted in your book, 88% occupancy and above for ongoing periods of time will, will generate higher levels of agent stress and higher levels of attrition, meaning agents leave. But let's talk about this 88%. How many minutes in a single hour? 60 minutes, right? Let's say it's 90% occupancy for the hour. Well, you know how to figure that out? Take 60 minutes, multiply by 90 per How many minutes is that? 54. What you're basically saying is for 54 minutes out of 60 minutes, my agent is either talking or doing their after call work. How many minutes of available time will they have? Six. But here's the question. Do they get those six minutes all at one go? Do they get like a six minute rest? No. The wait, remember the random call arrival? The available time comes in five seconds here, seven seconds here, 12 seconds here, 13 seconds here, right? When you add it all up across the hour, it adds to six minutes, but it never comes in a six minute block. So if you think about 54 minutes of this with six minutes all spread out through that hour, I'm sure you would agree that that can be a little bit intense. It can be a little bit intense. Um, by the way, what, what, what level of occupancy do most CEOs want? Let's be a CEO for a minute. <laughs> You're running the call center and you say, what would you, all right, call center manager, I want you to have a certain level of occupancy. 100, they always want 100% occupancy. But if they go for 100% occupancy, what's gonna happen to your customer waiting time? It will go up. What will happen to your customer satisfaction levels? It will go down. What will happen to the stress levels of your agents? There you go. The interesting thing about a call center is all these things are interrelated and linked together, right? Um, we 